Hey guys, what's going on? Inception here and welcome to another video. Ladies and gentlemen, today we have the new Al Awarin card to review. Um, I don't know if I'm saying his name correctly, but um, apparently this card is actually really good. People have said uh, some very good stuff about him. So very curious to see how he's going to actually play in game. So guys, with this card, he is six foot tall, high medium work rates, left footed, four star skills, four star weak foot. In game player traits, he has the long shot taker and the speed dribbler traits. So no outside foot shots, no finesse shot traits on this card. In game attributes, uh, the card is going to be working with base card stats of 98 acceleration, 99 for sprint speed, which is obviously very, very nice to work with. Uh, on this card, we do have to give him the dead eye chemistry style, right? So the dead eye chemistry style is going to make him stay on the um, controlled. Uh, accelerates, which is perfectly fine. Like, guys, people want lengthy for every player sometimes. It's like, it doesn't work that way, right? Controlled and explosive for your attacking positions, for me, like, they work out really well. Like, they're usually the ones that I like to work with the most, most of the times, right? Um, so, yeah, Deadeye Chemistry Style is going to massively improve his shooting capabilities, which is going to be uh, hopefully a huge plus in game. He's a left footed player, so the fact that he's left footed alone is very very good to work with because it's a card that has 88 stamina so his original position being the cam position is obviously great but if you want to rotate a card like this into the left-sided areas because of obviously strong fun the strong side in this game it would be really really nice to work with base card stats for passing is in a decent level too so that when you give him the dead eye chemistry style it's in a very good area too so the well-weighted passes should be good uh, dribbling we will be experimenting with because he is a six foot tall player, but he has a lean body type, right? With some pretty good dribbling stats considering how this game actually plays out. Uh, heading accuracy at an 83, 78 jumping, so not really like the physical type, uh, but then he also has the 88 stamina. Is this a card that I mainly see being used in the actual cam position? Absolutely, but if people want to rotate him into that left-sided area, whether that's left attacking mid, left mid, left forward because of the strong foot on the strong side, I wouldn't necessarily be uh, against that either. So with this card, guys, uh, we are going to be using him in a team that we put quickly together. We still use Rafinha and Diogo Jota because it's just for chemistry. I don't really care about like the um, full meta right now um, or ever. 4 2 3 one. We'll be playing him in the cam position mostly. It'll just be stay forward for him, right? So we won't put anything else on him. And um, yeah, we'll see how he plays, man. Hopefully he is a beast. You know what? I should have seen that run earlier. I didn't expect him to accelerate to that quickly. That was kind of wild. I'll tell you this right now. He's fast and he's utilizing attacking AI pretty quickly. Oh, defensive play. See the runs? Oh, too close. I didn't expect all the extra touches there, but the initial touch was really good. Bro, this card, guys, I'm telling you this right now, he's insane so far. Like, I, I could feel it already. Oh, beauty of a strike. Beauty of a strike. This Al Owarin card, I don't know if I'm saying his name right. He's he's really good, man. That's just a response from this problem right there, because he tackles the ball and it still registers the pass afterwards. But you can see that his quick touches right there is absolutely brilliant. Nice. We'll take that, we'll take that.
Beautiful Voller. You know what's hilarious? I just left against this guy because he scored two garbage goals against me in the beginning, and now we have two goals up against him. Oh, look at that. And now he's going to leave, you see? I just conceded two horror. This is why I don't like quantity amount. Do you guys see what I'm saying? This is why I don't like quantity amount, man. What a goal. What a goal. Well-weighted pass to initially start it off. Baller in the right position at the right time. Great finish. Yeah, he makes that run. I just got to see it earlier. Beauty. Let's go, boys. Let's go. Great little goal right there. Amazing. Amazing. Well positioned, great finish. Oh my goodness, the state of that. The state of that, man. Oh, man. I was expecting like a bigger drag there, but it didn't work. Oh, it's close. I was kind of hoping for the scoop there. Like the moving scoop? Not moving scoops, but when your player acts like he's stopped, they will do a scoop turn. That's what I was trying to get there. Because obviously the moving one would be a five. It was a loot one, it would have been GG's, but it was a power one. Oh, he scored that under pressure, that would have been beautiful. Who's offside? Voller's offside? Oh, that's unlucky. We would have gotten a really lucky deflection right there. I'll take it. We'll take some luck here and there. Too close. Yeah, too close. No way. No, 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 no. This crossbar stuff. What is that, man? No, man. Come on. The defensive play. Oh my goodness, man. Mendy's just saving everything. Let's go. Good finish. What a finish.
What a finish. That's what I'm talking about. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. There we go, boys. Gameplay feels super unresponsive. I mean, you could tell because he does a side footed shot again. But, come away with the goals. Oh, man. Maybe I should have just done like one drag. Like just a drag back, like a little bit. Like the one drag and then just kind of get the positioning on him. Uh, I should have finessed it, don't get me wrong, but uh, chip shots is weird to me, man. Sometimes, like, I have to put more power, less power. The registration is just, I don't know. Oh, I'm lucky with getting out bodied there. Would have been good if we still had it the whole time. Oh. Good finish. I will take that, I'll take that. Good goal, boys. Good goal. Oh, he's offside. Come on, man. Come on, EA. No, man. Come on, dude. To be honest, I try to do small touches like three different times there. Never could go inside. Oh, EA. Great job, man. Great job. Why is he taking that touch, EA? Oh my god, just do a power strike. Try to get the finesse shot angle there, just couldn't. Oh. Tried, I tried. Well done, boys. Well done, that's what we needed. Try to get the ball roll against him there and just couldn't get it off. Oh, there we go. There we go. Small little left sticks, get the finesse shot angle. Hmm. The left stick was popping off nicely there, though. Unlucky, unlucky. Okay, guys, so final verdict on the card. Uh, the frustrations mostly came from uh, bad gameplay. It wasn't because of this card, okay? Because this card's actually really good. Uh, very, very solid in game. Very, 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 very solid. Uh, really enjoyed using him, honestly. Dead Eye chemistry style on this bad boy makes him a fantastic attacker. And because he's left footed, it's actually super, super helpful to work with because if I want to play him through the middle, no problem, right? But you don't have that many really good left-footed players in FIFA, right? So being able to play him in that left mid position is a huge W when it comes to the in-game stuff, like left mid, left attacking mid, you know, that type of stuff. But I really enjoyed him the most in his actual original position, which is the cam spot, right? Because attacking AI-wise, very good, well-weighted passes, shooting came off as well as it can be, you know, obviously when you deal with uh, the certain things in this game whether it wants to register your finesse shot or not, because you guys know how FIFA is. Uh, but Deadeye chemistry style on this guy is definitely going to be the best choice. You know, boosting the shooting and the passing as much as possible is going to be super ideal. Uh, when it comes to his dribbling, the six foot height with a lean body type doesn't perform that bad in game. It actually um, is perfectly fine. I didn't really notice it being that big of a nuisance. It's obviously not as responsive as someone like Bernardo Silva uh, from his Path to Glory card, but it's still very good uh, to be used in the meta of this gameplay. I didn't mind it whatsoever. This guy constantly found himself in positions where 
I was able to kind of open up the space for other people on a consistent basis. It was really, really cool uh, to work with. Obviously, if you get the ball on his left foot, the strikes across goal and stuff worked out fantastically well. It's just a very, very good card. I think the like to dislike ratio for him is definitely valid because um, he was great. I, I really, I really enjoyed using him for what it was. Like there, there wasn't really that many problems with the card, right? I wish he was high, high from for personal sake, right? Because high, high is uh, super, super helpful to work with for the cam position or side positions when it comes to the push forward comeback, but. It's still a great card. I still enjoyed using him. So yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video today. I'll catch you guys for the next one. Peace out, dudes. Love you guys.